Hello friends, in this tutorial we will write a C++ program to print factorial of a number. So before writing a program, let's understand what's a factorial. So factorial of a non-negative number is the product of all the number which is less than or equal to a number. For example, uh, let's uh, take a case of a 5 factorial, factorial of 5. So factorial of 5 is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 uh, which is 120 so uh, we have understand what's a factorial uh, so let's implement this logic programmatically so in this tutorial I am using iterative approach to print a factorial of an input number so let's quickly uh, write a program let's declare two variable num and factorial fact and initialize it to one so let's take a input number factorial number so input number is taken now let's write a logic if input number is greater than zero then print a factorial let's initialize it to 1 and condition is i is less than or equal to num and then i plus plus so factorial equal to factorial into i so let's work, understand what i have done so suppose if our input number is 4 so in our loop we are printing so in for first iteration fact will be initially the value of uh, fact variable is 1 so 1 into the value of i is 1 1 in next iteration fact is 1 into 2 uh, the reason being the value of i in second iteration is 2 in third iteration in third iteration so fact is 2 into 3 the value of fact variable is 2 in third iteration and the value of i is 3 in fourth iteration the value of fact variable is 6 and the value of i is 4 and now when i is incremented next time it's 5 which is less than uh, equal to num uh, so input number is 4 no so the condition fails so uh, the uh, this uh, loop will break now the factorial so let's print factorial of a number is factorial of a number is prints the value so let's take a f f input number is 0 so if our input number is 0 then the factorial if our input number is 0 then factorial of a 0 is 1 factorial of 0 is 1 uh, and let's see what happens if user input a negative number so let's handle this case as well if input number is less than zero then factorial of a negative number does not exist so now now we have covered all the cases if our input number is greater than 0 then we are calculating of calculating its factorial if number is equal to equal to 0 then the factorial of a 0 is 1 if a number is less than 0 then factorial of a negative number does not exist so now uh, let's run and see the output let's input a number 5 factorial of 5 is 120 now again one more time 
let's input negative number so factorial of a negative number does not exist now let's run for one more case and this time enter 0 factorial of a 0 is 1 so I hope you have understand this program easily thanks for watching this video for more such video tutorial you can visit our website www.cprogrammingcode.com uh, thanks for watching uh, this video